Okay, Thomas has been over there already. Though. Uh, okay, but there still is no no floods over there. Okay. So I, I'm just saying, if you get bored, there's a lot of stuff. Everywhere I go, I see a ton of shit to do. Don't get bored, okay? people here today working um, so which couldn't make me any happier I love that I love it when we have a ton of people working on a house because um, I don't want them stepping over each other but but just short of that is what I prefer I like having a lot of activity I haven't been here in in probably a week so a lot of things have changed and I love it so we got master bedroom with his and her closet master bathroom we have a shower it had a terrible water issue downstairs. You can't see it now, but um, it literally has standing water in this little storage basement area. So we had that waterproofed and that's holding well and working well. Um, so it's not a lake under there now. It's, it's pumping water out every time it rains. Usually we'll have five to eight guys tops. And that's like if you include our crew and maybe a, a hardwood crew or a roofing crew. But. Um, there's a lot happening here today. What's up, Alex? How are you, buddy? Plumbers, electricians, heating and air people, painters, carpenters here. It's good. Okay, let's roll. We're spending a lot of money right there every minute, you know? So making sure everybody's doing everything right and the layout's right, the switches are going in the right places, the plugs are going in the right places, the kitchen's laid out right, the, um, the heat and air, uh, the returns are going in, in the right places. Um, just, you know, stuff like that, right? So, we gotta do one of two things. Laundry room's gotta move, while the concrete's gotta be chipped down. Okay. It's gotta be fun. Okay, and then let's bust it. What I want okay, you to do, well, what, here's what I want you to do. I want you to just draw them out a, a, um, where you need to bust it out, and my guys will bust it out. With them doing that, man, it's gonna hold me up from, from, I mean, I can keep going for it, but that's gonna hold me up. I'm trying to get this inspected hang on, on Friday. Hang on, why, hang on, why is it gonna hold you up? Because it's time consuming. You don't think they can do it quickly? I think they can. I think they can too. Well, get the jackhammer over there, let's go, because I'm up to that point right now. So, Let me call Noah. But, all right, All right bye. Ain't nothing's ever perfect. I mean, there's always things that come up. But English will get a job done like in two days. So he does a pretty good job of that. This is a Crestwood house that um, I bought probably two weeks ago and um, we just got started working on it. We're doing the roughs now. I got a plumber here uh, framing and uh, I've got a plumber that I haven't used in a few years. He moved to Huntsville. Well, he's back in town, so we're gonna say hey to him. Hey, brother, how are you, man? Good. Where's English? English! Is there a crawl space? So he figured it out. So how, how are we doing this, Carlos? Are you making a door here? Yes. So you're gonna, are you making a door here too, or is this part of the laundry? No, this is the laundry, and we're gonna we're gonna put the water heater right here. So basically, you're good. gonna be able to get in here yes. with the washer and dryer from this yeah. door. Okay, yeah. I like that. That's good. So we were trying to make it to where this drain. We thought we we're gonna take this this drain for the washing machine into this slab, but I guess he made a way where he could just take it from here and put it on top of the slab. Um, he told me he only had a few inches to work with, but it was actually more like six inches over there. So we had enough room. English was just being English. So this gave you more room for the kitchen, right? And a door from the carport, a door going out back. 
More cabinet space. Hey, buddy, come here. I want to see your pretty face. Hurry. Uh, he's in the crawl space. So what happened was originally they wanted to go on this right here. Go to this cabin to do our stack. Why didn't off. you think about moving over here? Why did it take no one to Because the slip, because I didn't know, but on this side, if you can tell right here, the slope's completely different on the slab. Yeah. So I had to have follow up. So do you want to apologize to me now? Or? Oh, For being a baby? No. I wasn't being a baby. But I didn't know that this side was slope because it's all dead already. Okay. Are you are you a diva or what? Huh? Are you a diva? Think about when you go take the cameras out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. No. So English is Lenny Madden's son. Yeah. And Lenny's got about 300 kids. Be careful on my floor, baby. I just heard about Jim scratches. English is number nine. He's my he's my punk rocker. Of the 300 kids, eight or nine of the boys are plumbers. Yes. Yes. Eight, eight, eight sons that are plumbers. He really has 14 kids. Yes. Or 15. Wedding boys, third girl, same mom dad. I think English is probably the fifth or sixth Madden plumber we've used over the years. But English is probably one of my favorites, Matt, man. Matt, Matt was probably the one that got me my first shot. So English moved up to Huntsville and then came back recently and, and um, yeah. We're inseparable, man. That's right. It's meant to be, baby. <laughs> I love it. All right, hey, I appreciate you, man. I had no problem. Thank you. He, he's the guy who will say, He'll say, uh, uh, how about I charge you uh, 8000 And then I'll say, what? He said, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like, I'm going to say, okay, here, $8,000, do it, man. He's like, you think I'm really going to? Uh, so that's the way he prices things. So I'm trying to, to nudge him out of that. When he gets his stuff stolen, he's going to be whining to me. I love you, Matthew. What'd you say? You like the alcohol, which I never had. I ain't playing your games. Love you.